Hey my dudes, my name is Cecilia and welcome to my kitchen here in Stockholm, Sweden. Today I have one of the fastest, easiest recipes I will probably ever give you guys. We are going to be making a chocolate fudge sauce today. Besides being fast, easy, and delicious, one of my other favorite things about this recipe is that you can cut it in half if you wanna make just a little portion for you and your family for tonight. It can also double, triple, quadruple super, super easily in case you're making your own chocolate sauce for a party. And once you've had this chocolate sauce and you've seen how simple it is to make, you are never going to buy that stuff in a bottle ever again. So let's just make it. Into your saucepan, pour 200 grams of water, 200 grams of sugar, 50 grams of cocoa powder, and 50 grams of dark chocolate. You could use a 60%, 65, 70. This is an 80 because I really like that intense dark chocolate flavor, but use whatever dark chocolate you want and you literally just pour it in there. You want a nice medium heat and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Whisk continuously as this heats up. We don't want any of the chunks of chocolate to accidentally settle on the bottom and then potentially get burned. And also all of that cocoa powder needs to get mixed into the water and sugar so that you don't get any like weird lumps. Even once all the chocolate is melted and the cocoa powder is like dispersed, you still wanna keep whisking continuously so that nothing sticks or burns. All right, we are now at a full rolling boil. Gonna let it boil for maybe 10 seconds. Boom, chocolate sauce done. That's it, we're done. <laughs> this will now keep in your refrigerator for several days to a week. There's no like dairy in it to go bad or anything. Also, this is really great because as long as you're using a dark chocolate that doesn't contain any milk powder, it's naturally vegan and gluten-free. So do whatever you want with it. It will also get thicker as it cools. Right now it's quite thin, but that's just because it's super hot. Let's taste test it with some actual ice cream. This is that vanilla ice cream I made a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, my bowl is not frozen. That's okay. All right, now remember, the sauce is really hot, so. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. And like it does get thicker as it cools down. Also, little tips and tricks. If you boil it for like a minute, it's gonna evaporate a little bit more water and be a little bit like thicker. But it really does thicken up quite a bit as it like cools down. I just couldn't wait that long. Mm. And that's it, boys and girls. I hope you guys have a great week and that I'll see you around next week. Hey,